Oh no, yo, we're yet right there. So what's up? So today my car was shaking, you know, the idle keep going up and down. So I was thinking it would be uh I was on my way to Toyota. So I got 2011 Toyota Scion TC. So I was thinking it would be the spark plug. You can see I got 130,000 miles that haven't changed spark plugs on this car. And then it was to start shaking up, you know, the idle would go five was it 5,000? Okay, 5,000 and less, it would bump up. So it's not stable. Okay, so I was thinking uh, the spark plugs is not firing up, you know, it might be clogged up. But then all of a sudden I got check engine, tire traction. Oh my God, come on. So I got check engine and tire traction, 130,000 miles, the spark plugs haven't, haven't been changed, haven't been touched yet. So we got the scanner from AutoZone, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the car, don't start it. We're gonna turn it on the accessory mode. We're gonna plug it in, we're gonna run it, and then we're gonna go back inside the other zone, and then they're gonna look for the code, so you would know what's wrong with the car. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Some of the car, the underneath. Let's go. All right, guys, they gave us a code of P0353. What is that? It's the ignition coil primary secondary circuit. So to make it simple, it's the cable, the coil packs. Back in the days, they got, you know, cable wires with uh, caps and rotors. So most of the cars that came out nowadays, uh, they, uh, they had coil packs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all my four of them, the coil packs, and all of my spark plugs because I haven't changed them since we bought it 130,000 miles so that's what we're gonna do and it, sh it should resolve the problem the check and then should come out and the uh, try out tire traction let's go all right these are the tools you're gonna need for the job you need a 5 8 socket to take out them spark plugs all right you're gonna need a magnet so you can pick up the spark plugs all right, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and a wrench, of course, to take off them plugs. Okay, that, that is the coil packs, all right. And then you're gonna need spark plugs. I use NGK, so you need four of them and four uh, coil packs. So first thing first, we're gonna unplug it. You see where my finger's pointing at? So you're gonna press on that. Uh, I have a small flathead screwdriver I pick on that thing because I cannot, I'm, I'm having a hard time to press it and pull it out. So just pick the thing up, the tab, and then pull it out. It's super easy. So there's four of them, okay? Start from your left, whatever, wherever you start, okay? Just unplug it first, the connectors, all right? Take up them connectors from the coil packs. So once you take up all the connectors and you're gonna start working on the coil packs. 10 millimeter wrench, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'm gonna go to my left. All right, I'm gonna loosen it up. Loose him up, loosey goosey. All right, I got the screw out, set them aside. And then you can pull, pull them off. The coil packs, it shouldn't be hard. Okay, voila. Okay, that's the call packs. So what you're gonna do next, start working on those three that's got left. So I got the five eight socket for the spark plugs plugs, drop them down. Lefty Lucy again, okay? Lefty Lucy. I know you can do it. Let me set this camera. Alright. Lefty Lucy. Ugh. 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 Okay, work on it. Uh, yeah. All right, this is where the magnet comes in handy. Pick him up and drop him off to the ground. Blow. So we're gonna install the brand new Iridium NGK. So I'm gonna use my magnet again to drop it off in the hole. Fire in the hole. Blow. Let go. Shake it let go okay and then you're gonna get your 10 millimeter socket wrench 
Okay. Okay, now we're gonna put the coal packs on once you get once you tie them up then spark plugs straight down line them up with the hole right there's all lined up okay all right all lined up all right all right so we got the screws we're gonna put it in okay we're gonna tie them up all right and then we're gonna connect the connectors to the pack to the coal packs and then you're gonna do the same to the rest okay and what you're gonna do what if the check engine light how to do it, how to clear them out and how to clear out the tire traction so what you're gonna do okay listen to this you drive it around drive it around it will clear up itself by itself okay you don't need any special tools because you did what the um the code says what you're supposed to do so just drive around the neighborhood go crazy with it all right peace